Hi guys, today's video is going to be a fun one. It is titled Settle Sore No More. How to prevent numbness and discomfort when cycling. So this video is for you if you experience some pain in your perineal area or discomfort after you've been biking, whether you've been like on your outdoor bike or like inside, like in your home on your exercise bike. Yucks, it's a thing and it happens. So um, I brought in an awesome expert. This is my husband, Kevin Anthony, also known as a truth warrior, and he's gonna bring in his expertise. And as always, if you are new to this channel, well, welcome. I am Celine Remy, the Intimacy Angels, and I'm here to help you get your sexy back in life. All right. Let's dive in. So Kevin, I know you have a lot of experience riding. You've been riding like since your early 20s. And so have you ever had pain? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well first, I'm really excited to be here on this channel. You may have seen me on the Love Lab podcast before, but this is the first time you've seen me in a non-Love Lab video. Absolutely, and we're gonna bring him more often. So hey, post in the comments below, let us know what else you wanna know from Kevin, have his perspective, because we're gonna make like short videos for you uh, more often, because yeah. we love having him around. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's dive into what to do if you have pain or numbness while cycling. First, let me say that I have been cycling for over 25 years. In fact, I've kind of lost count at this point. I think it's maybe like 27 is. I don't really know. It's been a long time. And while I don't get to ride as much as I used to, I used to spend a good four days of the week in the saddle. And that's like long mileage in the saddle. So I know a little something about what it takes. There are definitely some tips to minimize numbness and or pain. So the first one is get good cycling shorts. <laughs> The first I, time I saw those, I laughed so hard because I was like, I looked at his butt and I was like, something's different. Look, I <laughs> still ride with cyclists who just put on their boxer briefs and put on a pair of external cycling, cycling shorts and that's it. I don't know how they do that. Maybe they don't have any balls, I don't know. But <laughs> here's the thing. If you want to avoid uh, testicular pain, you got to have your testicles up out of the way. That's the first thing. Mm -hmm. Bike seats were not designed for guys with testicles. They just aren't, let's be honest. They get in the way. Cycling shorts will help hold them up out of the way. The second benefit to cycling shorts is they actually do have padding in them. They have padding under your sits bones and they also have padding under the perineal area. So step one, please spend the money. Yeah, I know they can be expensive, but spend the money and get yourself a good pair of cycling shorts. And that's the only thing you need to wear, right? No more underwear, double shorts, just one really good short or maybe two and you wash them and that's all you need. Yeah, so now you can wear another pair of shorts over top of yeah. your cycling <laughs> shorts. Uh, for mountain biking, that's what I do. I have a looser pair of baggy mm -hmm. shorts that I wear over my cycling shorts, but I always have real cycling shorts underneath. It's a must. Okay, so now that we know about that, let's talk about seats because I think that it makes a big difference. I know I don't have balls, but I know I still have pain when I ride because just the pressure and how the seat is, I know there's something to it and I know you're gonna tell us what we need to do. Yeah, so this, <laughs> this is huge and I can tell you, I've been around cycling since before they even figured out what to do about this issue. So I was there when all the debates were coming up I was there when they were designing all the new seats that you see now. I have a lot of insight into this. So I have a prop seat right here. It's been used a lot. You can tell this one has many, many, many miles on it. A couple of things about this seat. This is actually not the type of seat I would recommend. The reason why, this is completely flat. Mm. And this was one of the big problems that they were realizing. What you should look for in a proper seat now is a seat that has a channel right down the center. And so it looks like it's a little high here, it'll dip down, it'll be a little higher here. It basically creates a channel that goes down the center. The way you're designed to sit on a seat is with your sits bones, which are the two bones in your butt, here and here, just like this. This is where your bones go. If your bones sit here on the high part, then your perineum 
is slightly elevated off the seat. There's no pressure on it anymore. And that's the way you're supposed to be sitting on a bike seat. So this is a very old seat because all my good seats are on my bikes. And let me tell you, if you're a cyclist, you know when you get your seat dialed in just the way you want it, you don't mess with it. I was <laughs> not about to take my seat off just to make this video. <laughs> so, and then is there something we need to do with the adjustment? Because seats could be put differently and it can make a difference, right? Yes, so I have personally set up more bikes for other people and myself than I can possibly count. And I can't tell you how many times people show up with a seat that is completely misadjusted. First thing, seat height, right? So if your seat is too high or even too low, you could potentially have pain problems. Not just problems in, in your butt or in your perineum, but also problems in your knees and your hips and potentially your back. So uh, height is the first thing that I, that I would get dialed in with somebody. And that would be making sure that when you're at the full bottom extension of your pedal stroke, that you have just a slight bend in your knee. That's it, just a slight bend. You don't wanna be overextending, you don't wanna have a big bend. Both of those will cause problems. Once you have that dialed in, the most important thing is tilt mm -hmm. on the seat. This is where so many cyclists get into problems. Professional cyclists show up and their seat is angled ever so slightly up like this. No good. If you want pain in the perineum, if you want to experience numbness and possibly have a problem with your erections, put your seat like that because <laughs> mm -hmm. that's what's going to happen. What this does is it puts pressure right on the perineum. Most of your weight then sits on the front part of the seat, not on the back part of the seat mm -hmm. where it belongs. What you should do is turn your seat just slightly so the back is slightly higher than the front doesn't need to be like this just slightly higher than the front some people will say level level's okay i personally prefer a slight a down, slight just a little <laughs> downward tilt what does that do that puts all the pressure back here on your sits bones where it belongs now some cyclists don't like that because they feel like they're sliding forward but that's because they have to focus and concentrate on keeping their sits bones right here on the back of the seat. If you do that and you have a proper seat and the seat height is adjusted, you will not have any pain. I have rode thousands, thousands of miles. I've worn out many a saddle <laughs> and many a bicycle for that matter too. If you do those things, you will not have pain and numbness. And you had one more tip for people to take a little break and when they're riding, kind of like standing up a little bit so that you take the pressure off for just a little bit of time and then come back to sit down, right? Absolutely. Yeah. And you know, so if you're a mountain biker, which is primarily what I do, it's not so much of a problem because you're up and down all the time. But if you're a road cyclist and you're in the saddle a lot, it can be a problem. Mm -hmm. you're, especially if you're doing a long ride, you're training for a century ride or something like that, and you're on the bike for hours just sitting there, especially if you're in a very uh, forward, more like tri-style position on your bike, it's going to put a lot of pressure. So every once in a while, get up out of the saddle, stand up, mm -hmm. especially if you got a hill climb anyway and you need to get up, take advantage of those times that you have to get up out of the saddle and give it all a little rest. <laughs> and then there's some things that you can do uh, when you're not experiencing tremendous amount of pain that is like massaging and kind of stretching the whole pelvic floor. And what you need to do is to grab a tennis ball and simply put it down on the floor or on a chair and then sit down on that tennis ball and you start with like having it close to your anus and then you kind of move your body and slide over it and move it in between your anus and your scrotum. So hey, make sure you take your balls out of the way, uh, but like kind of right on that ball and like roll over it and it's going to give your pelvic floor muscles a good massage and a good stretching. So it's a good, preventative measure to know about and to do. And another thing too that can work really well is actually to give, say a little hello to your prostate and trying <laughs> some prostate massage. And uh, we have more videos on this channel on how to do a prostate massage. So we're not gonna dive into this today, but knowing that 
massaging your prostate, uh, going through the anus and relaxing and stretching the muscles can also go a long way because for a lot of people the numbness or the discomfort comes from too much tension and pressure that has been put into one area. So you want to alleviate that and that's you want to also make sure that there's enough circulation and that you massage the area regularly to keep things flowing and in good shape. All right. All right. We hope this video was helpful and make sure that you subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell to get notified every time there's more amazing content being delivered right into your inbox. And don't forget to get out and ride. <laughs>